everyone, today I will share a card using some products from Whiff of Joy again and I'm going to start by cutting out this heart banner from a piece of white cardstock. I did have some trouble getting the cardstock out of the die and I ended up ripping it apart but that's okay since I will only be using the hearts anyway. So I'm cutting them out and sanding the edges a bit. Then I've picked a few colors of the stress ink that I will be using to color the hearts. I am just taking the hearts directly to the ink pad and coloring them that way. It is a bit messy but I don't mind. When I was finished coloring the pieces I realized that I didn't really like the colors. They were a bit too dark and I, they didn't look the way I had planned. So I brought out some of my ink blending tools and tried of coloring them this way would look better. And I think it worked better so I just cut out a new set of hearts and I started coloring them with my ink blending tools instead. Since I didn't want to throw the old hearts away I ended up using them on my card as well. So here I'm just adhering the hearts to a piece of cardstock that I cut slightly smaller than my card base. I'm using the darker hearts behind the lighter ones so I get a bit of a shadow effect and I will be sewing them in place so I'm just using very thin strip of adhesive to stick them down. And here I've finished sewing and I'm just tying a few knots on the thread so it will stay in place. And I will be stamping my sentiment from this stamp set called Magical Wishes. And to make sure that I stamp it straight I am using a stamp positioner. This makes it very easy to see where I'm stamping. And I'm just lining up the stamp here on the block and I am going to stamp in archival ink in jet black. And I'm trying to get the sentiment centered on the card, but I don't bother with measuring or anything. I'm just eyeballing it and hoping it will look good in the end. I'm cleaning off my stamp and my stamp positioner. And before I adhere the panel to my card base, I am securing the thread on the back with some tape. Then I'm using foam squares to adhere the panel to the card base. Here I'm bending up the edges of the hearts, making sure not to bend up the hearts in the back. I want them to lay flat on the card while the lighter hearts stand out a bit. This makes them look a bit more 3D like. And to finish off the card I'm adding some stardust stickles to the hearts, giving them some sparkle. And that was my card for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching.